Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a very special guest in the kitchen today. It's Arthur Daly from Brew Wales and the South Wales Echo. Um, Arthur's been blogging for donkey's years. I've been trying to get him in the kitchen for years uh, to get him to do some reviews. Tell us a little bit about your blog, Arthur. Yeah, I've been uh, blogging since about 2007. Um, tend to use Twitter and Facebook more now than the, the actual blog, but I still keep the uh, blog going. And of course, I write a weekly column about beers in the South Wales Echo. Fantastic, fantastic. So great to have him here. Arthur's a fan of Fuller's Brewery. Um, we got something quite special this the Past Masters Heritage Series, the Old Burton Extra at 7.3% ABV. Uh, Burton, is, is it a style of beer? Is it it's, a, it's a style of beer, of course, you know, from Burton on Trent there. Yeah. Know, so, um, I mean, Master's Pedigree is the most famous one because we used to have Burton Ale as well, but that's been dropped recently. Right. Um, this goes back to, I think, uh, 1931 recipe from the brewery there because uh, the head brewer there, John Keeley, is digging out some old uh, recipes. You know, so it's good to see you know, Fuller's putting these uh, recipes uh, to use. It's 7.3%, yeah. 7, 7. so it's quite, quite a, a big one. Quite a big one, that. Quite a big one. Let's get it open into a glass and see what we get. There you go, in the fullest glass. Wow, that's nicely carbonated, that one. So what have you got, Arthur? Well, first of all, the colour, that rosy red colour, which uh, you quite often get with full as ESB. Well, you always get with full as ESB, that colour. Bump on the nose, some hops as well. Yeah. Caramel. Nice look to the beer. It's, it's, it looks like a deep ruby ale, doesn't it? Uh, the two fingers of slightly off white head, a little hazy. Bottle being a bottle conditioned beer, you're going to get that. Your your beer is slightly different to mine because I poured all the beer in, I think. Yeah, so let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. A big chewy, almost like their golden pride. Do you think? Um. Uh, well, actually, I haven't had that for quite a few years. So. Yeah. But um, there's loads of caramel, toffee in there. Biscuits. Yeah. Big malty, bready brew. Let's dive in. Toffee, caramel. Yeah. Bitterness of the hops there. Plenty of bitterness on yeah. the back end, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you always get that with Fuller's, which I well, quite like it. But the first brewery got me into real ale. Um, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a very British hop, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very British hop, but it, it it's a very familiar beer. It, in that you could have a three point four percent beer; it wouldn't be as big and bold and uh, bready and biscuity. But it's that balance. That, it's what we're good at, isn't it? In, mm. in the UK, we're we're very good at the balance that. That sweet malt, that bready malt, against that that hot bitterness that that comes through. To the uh, you've been to the brewery, Fuller's. Yeah. Uh, for our American viewers, can you tell us a little bit about the brewery, in Fuller's? Is it a massive it, place? It, it, it's actually quite small. Right. I mean, um, it's yeah, I'm in Hammersmith there on the town in Chiswick. Sorry, just next door to Hammersmith. I always get off the tube in Hammersmith. That's why. So I don't go to the brewery. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's by the flyover. You come out from Heathrow. You can just see the brewery on the right there. And it's quite a small and compact site, which is mm. quite surprising there. Um, but they managed to fit quite a lot in there for what yeah. it is. With, with Fuller's London Pride, they're, they're number one beer. It's, it's the UK's number one bitter. So I imagine that takes up a lot of their capacity, being, being the number one drunk beer in the country. So I just wonder if they've got a lot of space to, to, to brew these speciality beers, or do you think they just brew a certain amount of these? I think mean, it's going to be a limited edition, this is. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, um, doing the Heritage Series there. Um, you know, it, it, like I said, it's a compact brewery. I mean, I think every bit is utilised mm. there, and when they've even been brewing in some wooden barrels, they have to have them outside the offices in the really? corridor there, because they've had to space yeah. elsewhere for it. Um, I mean, they've got a great little sample room there. It's on, um, I think it's the old hop cellar they call it, you oh. know, and it's um, full of Buriana as well from the brewery. And you know, it's a great place to go and have a few beers and just wander around looking at all the old beers they used to do and all the old maps of the area. And 
yeah. little things like the, um, the second oldest wisteria, I think, in the country, because the first oldest is at Kew. Ah, oh. <laughs> they got that grown across the wall. Of yeah, the, um, part of it there. So it's a, like I say, a great little brewery to visit. And uh, when I'm, uh, I go there, I do always go to the Dove in Hammersmith as well, which is just up the river from there. It's a fantastic little pub there, which. Um, should be on every tourist map. Mm. Real Britannia was apparently composed there and uh, wow. other, other wonderful things about it. So uh, there's lots of heritage in that area. So not just the brewery, but you've got the pub there as well. A nice walk up the river. This is a great beer in my mind. I've been listening to you, um, giving your story down full of breweries, sipping away. And it really is, even at 7.3%, you don't get any kick of alcohol at no. all, do you? Mm. There's it, some towards the end, but um, I mean, it's a sipping beer, mm. but... It's a sip and beer you can drink a lot of. Mm. Um, it's not overpowering the alcohol in any way. No. You know, we still get plenty of hops on the back of the tongue there going on yeah. in the aftertaste. And um, yeah, you know, very good beer. But then again, I'm a big Fuller's fan. Yeah. I've never had a bad beer from this No, brewery. I've never had a bad beer yeah. from Fuller's. Big fan of their brewery. How would you rate it out of 10? Ooh, that's going to be an 8 or 9. Yeah, yeah. certainly. 8 or 9 out of 10, that's. that's yeah, great looking beer, great smelling beer, great tasting beer. It's what you expect from Fuller's. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go nine out of ten. I, I really like this. Um, it's not a beer that I could session, but it's a beer that if I'd had a few, say in Cardiff, and I went home and I fancied one more beer before I went to bed, I, I'd want to kind of finish the night on something a little bit special. That's where I think I'd see this uh, beer being consumed in my in my little house here. Uh, thanks Alf for, for joining me, we've got a very special beer, look out for this tomorrow, it's going to be Fuller's Imperial Stout, limited edition. Uh, thanks for watching and cheers.